now to the youth section and Joe Wooten had plenty to ride for when he chased down British compatriot Jack Evanson, the third in the championship. Third on Saturday, a good start on his Husqvarna with Evanson down in seventh. Game on. The big surprise of the weekend saw Mattia Cavallo's sixth race winning streak come to an end. Having wrapped up the junior world title in France, the Italian beater rider not at his best here, finishing just six seconds ahead of Wooten in second place. Will Ruprecht arrived in Germany hoping to secure a factory ride for 2019 and may well have done exactly that. Given an opportunity by the Johansson Yamaha team and becoming the first rider to win their debut event as a wild card since Jeremy Jolie. Ideally I would like to uh, end up racing the world championship here and get a few world titles under my belt, that's why I'm here. So uh, yes, I hope that this result today and possibly a good result tomorrow will, uh, will cement that. In the youth section, with the title already decided, Hamish McDonald was looking to secure second in the championship. The Kiwi Sherco rider doing exactly that with a pair of second place finishes and will fancy his chances of going one better in 2019. But Rui Barbosa was a deserved and dominant champion for his father, winning 7 of 11 races capped by a lucky pair in Germany. Should his first ever Enduro World Champion head into the juniors full of confidence. The second day in the junior ranks saw Davide Sereca returning to form. The Italian third here, his best results since Estonia, but some recent poor results when finished down in sixth in the championship table. Day one winner Will Ruprecht and reigning champion Matta Kavaya back in the first until falling apart in the final lap. That left Joe Wooten right in the mix until Espinas for the victory, but coming up agonisingly short in second, Wooten having to make do with four standings. Wooten set the scratch time in the final test to pile pressure on Espinas, but the Sherco rider held his nerve to add his previous win in Estonia, led ahead of Sereka into fifth in the final standings. The Women's Cup also on the line in Germany, this their only race of the season. Three race favourite and three time runner up Jane Daniels sitting in second place on the Saturday before a crash on the fifth test of the day saw the British Husqvarna rider have to retire from the race with a broken collarbone. Trees coming from far and wide for this event, including two riders all the way from Japan, Lami Matsuda and Seiko Sugawara, certainly up for the challenge, but unfortunately neither were able to get all the way to the finish line. With Daniels out of the equation, double motocross world champion Livia Lancelot of France fancied her chances of a crossover win for Honda, but was blown out of the water by our new women's champion. Sana Kakanen was already in a near one minute lead before Daniel's retirement, winning the opening day by two and a half minutes, and despite a few wobbles on day two, held on to complete the double for KTM. The reigning European champion now, our world champion as well. Yesterday was easier, but after the win yesterday, I was felt more pressured, and uh, I make some little mistakes, and. But still, I got to be the first in the finish line, so feels good. <laughs> she may find defending that title even harder. 2017 winner Maria Franca missing this year's event, having just given birth, but will hope to be back in 2018.